Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going. Today is a very exciting video because today is a. I keep saying today, but we have a story time video today. I try to keep my alliance um stuff as far away from my videos as possible, but in today's video, it's going to be more about what's going on in my kingdom because something very interesting happened in the last kill event. So what I want to say first is that so. Normally, we have only friendly battles allowed for kill event and um, for Mightiest Governor. And um, the king decided to change the rules this time. He decided to make it so that um, you had to. It was you. Could, it was open field. You could hit anyone you wanted to. You could hit any armies out on open field. No hitting cities, but you could also hit farmers. So I don't usually participate in kill event or Mightiest Governor. I'm pretty sure I've said this some multiple times. But, uh, I, so, it, it's, um, this one is, uh, is, this one was interesting because I wanted to participate in the kill event. Um, I did have the mail for the king that said, um, we didn't, that nobody has to, that's the kill event rules, but I lost it somehow. So, I'm going to be showing you, um, so I hit it. I actually hit um, farmers and I actually participate in the kill event because I didn't really care about um, Midas Governor too much but I want kills and I know kills mean nothing but I, I it, it's just a fun thing to do in the game um, going around hitting people. Um, I know kill events can spark wars sometimes but it's it's kill events so it's like it's not our decision. I don't think the king will do it again. He might but I don't know. So. Uh, yeah, so I went around hitting farmers, and this wasn't just any ordinary one, because um, I'm going to... I actually have the... So, I went around hitting farmers. I'm going to show you a clip from... Uh, wait, so I'm going to show you. So, I went... This was a video clip that I recorded on my iPad. So, this was a farmer that I hit. So, you got to wait till you get close, and then you hit it so that... Because if you're going for it at, at once, then it can get the red things and then might send the gatherers back. But you have to do this at the right moment. So this is a person that I am actually going to be... Um, that was... That is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. So his name was... Uh, wait, it might show it in a second. Um, yeah, so it's Conan Bar... Bar... Bar whatever his name is. But, so, that's pretty much... Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, I after the kill event, I hit probably 20 farmers. I sent a mail to all of the people that I hit during the kill event. I said that it's all for kill event, and I hope that nobody has any hatred towards me or my alliance because of the farmers that I hit, just to make sure. But then, after I did that, um, I got this mail from... Uh, yeah, I'm a blur this part, but so I got this mail from this guy. He so I sent look so um I sent this to everyone. This mail and then I sent this one. I said hello, I'm a person who you're a farmer, and I'm making this message for all the people I hit during kill event. I just want to say I'm sorry for hitting your farmer and causing you resources to heal because it was for the event, and we can hit farmers and it's all fair game. So I wish you have no hard feelings towards. E I have no hard feelings towards you, and and make sure not to farm when you when the kill event rules say that you can hit farmer. Or you the best of luck and hope you have no hard feelings towards me and my alliance. So I sent this to this guy, and then he replied, like uh, a few hours later, he said, "No problem, but you were just a piece of poop." So I didn't think much of it. I was I was like, okay, it's, he's just he said no problem. He might have a little bit towards me. But then the thing that happened next is I went to bed and then I woke up with my city on fire. So, um, it, this Conan guy, he was the same person that I showed you in the video. That was his farmer that I hit because I was recording when I was hitting farmers. So I woke up with my city on fire. I'm like, why is my city burning? I went to my reports and then, oh wait, no, it's in my favorites. Wait, um, so here I got this report. Conan, the same guy, he hit my city when I was asleep, but he only has, 
I have about a million troops in my city, and that's a lot, and I know that, but this guy, he only he only brought two armies with about 100,000 and 156,000, so he only had like 250,000 troops versus my million troops in, in, in my city, and look, that Sun Tzu line is completely straight, and I actually, well, I kind of feel bad, but not really, because it's his own fault, and he is like, he, he only, like, I get he might have been mad, but like, you are, it's like, it's not the best decision to hit someone with 250,000 troops. Now I have a Max Sun Tzu, um, and a, uh, and a two-star, uh, um, uh, Yi Sang Yi, and he attacked with Julius and Lancelot and Boudicca and, and Frederick, and he had, like, 150,000 troops that died. And this is a huge loss for him. So we went, I, I reported this to the chat. Uh, I think they'd been um, talking about it for a while. And it was like a few hours before I went to bed. So they were um, waiting for it so I could wake up so I could share the report. And they hit the guy that was coming back um, a little bit when he was hitting my city. So, I mean, I have, I did nothing wrong in this situation because... You were allowed to hit farmers during kill events. It was his fault that he didn't farm, that he chose to farm during kill events. So I did nothing wrong in this situation. Um, so I guess he just he felt salty that he got his farmers hit, and he made the decision to uh, attack my farmer. And he also I'm not sure if he got kicked or he left the alliance. He's just not in the alliance anymore. So, um, we're just gonna leave him be. We're not gonna attack him or anything. He already lost a lot, so we're not going to touch him or anything. So if you guys enjoyed the story time video, uh, make sure to leave a like. And also tell me if you can in the comments if you guys like these sort of videos for story times and stuff. And, um, thank you for staying in to watch this video. If you guys are new here, then please subscribe, because I make Day of the Rise of Kingdoms videos here. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.